growing Let's nicely. Shuttle come out to my. Hi, Snoop! Hi, Modi. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? I, no. I'm French. Or Italian. Either way, I got to kiss you, so. Or Spanish? Uh, Nicaraguan. Foreign, you're foreign. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> I, I like our, gi I like our giant here. bed, by the way. Oh, yeah. So in betwixt episodes, um, I tried uh, pretty much all the same things you did, and I couldn't get this thing to pump. So I put, I made a fluid pump. I don't think it was a quest. I don't remember a quest thing popping up. And if it is, then the bad problem is if it is, we're gonna have to make it again. But is it, it's is fine. It pumping without power. Yeah, you, when when you're coming out of a machine. You don't need power when you're pumping out of the world. Oh, you do. okay. So, remember when I was telling you, I was like, yeah, I don't think it needs, you know, a pump if you do this or you do that out of a machine. That's what I was thinking about. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, a pump out. Just a redstone uh, signal is all it needs. Yeah, just to show that you want it on. So yeah, it doesn't need power when you're pumping out of something out of like you know, a thing. Yeah. But if you if you put it like the one above the water over there, you do need power for that one. Okay, power for world interaction, no power with that. Okay, cool. Yeah, exactly. Um, so check this out. See this this cold coke sitting here? Yep. So you have to have one piece of cold coke in there already? Uh, yep. Also, I I put a hopper up here, and apparently that puts coal in. So. Oh yeah, look at that. Anyway, yeah. Super All right, sorry. Go ahead. So um, we have twenty pieces of cold coke in this drawer. That we do, sir. So now I'm gonna put this down. And this will withdraw cold coke from this chat, from the uh, coke oven, and put it right to the drawer. You're a witch. I don't need to have any advanced anything. Uh, it just extracting conveyor belt, pulls it right out, pops it into the drawer. I'll already have 22 cold coke right there. So what's the point of the, the advanced one then? Because that thing isn't that much faster, and it uses power. If you can pump into this, extract out of this, and pump the juice out without using any power, it kind of, it kind of seems like it it's negating it kind of the purpose. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm, because yeah. here's the thing: if you can do this, I'm guessing you could put this on the side and pump it straight into the blast furnace. Yeah, I can. That's what I'm going to do right now. And then actually pull out of the blast furnace. Now I wonder how it's going to be with the slag and the steel. If it'll do both. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and test that. Um, it's actually I'm going to leave this uh, this extractor here. <laughs> oh, by right. by the way, another thing I hooked up an MV wire cable to this LV capacitor, and then hooked it up to this one, and it actually pulls power in. Oh, nice. It just We're you can't power right now because the machines are still going. But yeah, that's cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right. All right. So um, let's just do this. We're gonna put this right there, and then you might need to know. Take half of each, or all of it, whichever. Um, okay. okay. Let's try a different location. Maybe it's right there. Yeah, you put it on the corner. Does it need? Oh, it would, wait. Be, it would be immediate. Oh, wrong. So maybe an advanced blast furnace would be cool. Yeah, thought that would do it, but eh. either way, this one doesn't. Ooh, this one doesn't. Seem. All right, and then you got two tanks here. One rolling with. Uh, you got ethanol in this one and then the plant oil in that one, which is what these are making. Correct. We need to start seeing if we can figure out something power-wise. Yeah, better power. <clears throat> the two windmills are great, but they obviously... Because, like, right now, the cloches are turned off. Um, and since they're turned off, there's no water being pumped into them, so this uh, water pump isn't doing anything. So literally, if we run either the cloches or the fermenter and uh, other one and squeezer, uh, squeezer, um, 
then yeah, then then we we have no power. So. Yeah. So let's take a look and see what kind of stuff we can do with power. Um, oh, I completed the large storage quest because I made more sheet metal. Okay. So we have that. Uh, ooh, free MV capacitor. It's always nice. <coughs> now we are in line for biodiesel. The act actually the next quest is to get all the parts for biodiesel. And from looking at it, I mean, it's some steel scaffolding, some iron sheet metal, a couple heavy engineering blocks. This isn't that bad. Well, this is for the refinery. This isn't for the actual, yeah, never mind. I thought that was for the thing, acceleration cards. Um, yeah, we need the refinery to, to convert that ethanol and plant oil into... Into biodiesel, biodiesel. Which, which I think... And then I don't know. we'll need the diesel power generator. Yeah. But we also, eventually, once we unlock the biodiesel, we can actually unlock, um, along with the core sampling, we can get uh, oil, too. Yeah. Oh, great. A stack of cobblestone. Oh, it's more iron. Right, that's good. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, eight iron machine components, 32 coal coke, and eight copper wire. Okay. I'll take awesome. it. All right. It's actually pretty useful. So the uh, where is that book? Okay, here we are. Heavy machines, refinery, eight scaffolding, five fluid pipes, one redstone engineering block, two light, two heavy, and sixteen iron sheet metal. Now let's see what I have. I have the sheet metal, and these six. Oh, scaffolding. I never. Oh, I, I had those windmill cells. Why did I? Why did I not claim those? It sucks. Oh, I um, I think we may have used them to make to upgrade the windmills before we had the full set of eight. Yeah. That's okay though. We have we have another windmill. I don't think it's been fully upgraded yet. Um, we have another windmill wheel, and we also have. <coughs> I was thinking of putting maybe another couple more of them. We have two more kinetic dynamos. So I figure we could take a couple of these um, and a couple set up more on the sides, perhaps. We might just add a little more oomph. Yeah. Not much, but... I'm thinking, okay, you know what? Power. Let Let's work on getting the refinery, all right? Yeah. So we can get this going, uh, set up, right? Okay. Because the next quest um, to the bottom right says alter or alternate alternative power. I think that might be the beginning of steam. Ooh, now, yeah. have you have you ever made the really big multi-block steam? Yeah, I think it's turbine? awesome. Yeah, it generates but, so much power. Now, in this one, uh, we have to use uh, we want to use oh, what's it called? There, well, when we unlock that thing, we'll know. It's basically this thing that you pump water into, and then it makes distilled water. And then oh, you're yeah, gonna pump distillery. Yeah, well, that would explain a good name for it. Shut up. Anyways, and then if you uh, pump the distilled water out into one of those solar towers, have you done those before? Yes. Okay. I that actually pumped water directly into the solar tower. You can, but if you do the uh, distillery than the solar tower, it makes considerably more steam off of less water. Oh, um, and then, therefore, it will keep up with the steam turbine better. Oh. So it's it, and plus the thing is, it's a quest, so we kind of have to do it anyway. Well, makes sense. So, so uh, I'm actually going to do this real quick while you're working on that. I'm going to get my book, and I'm going to look up the distillery and see if I can start getting the parts for this so once you're done with that one we can go from there so sure thing that way we can kind of skip ahead so uh do you have all of the pipes or do we need to make more i have all the pipes but there's more um i literally need three okay uh i think there might be some sheet metal in the chest over there by the press okay yeah i think i made some of that before or you did one of us did yeah, if not then we can make some more just grab some iron and squish it. So we uh, actually had a couple people uh, comment on the uh, Real Talk episode. And yeah. uh, one thing that we had, uh, didn't talk about was um, more vocational schools. Oh, yeah, vocational schools. There's nothing wrong with taking a vocational school. I'm going to tell, tell you right now, you know, 
because we were talking last time so much about uh, the, you know, people getting into like the tech industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then not having any jobs because everyone He's got into, into the, the tech, tech industry. industry. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you right now, the world will always. I can't say the world is always going to need uh, computer programmers. I mean, it will, but just stick with me. But I'm going to tell you right now, the world is always going to need carpenters, plumbers. Uh, I mean, they're not glamorous jobs, but I'll tell you right now, those guys make money. Carpenters, plumbers, mechanics. Yeah. Um. Like I, I went to. Uh, Real quick, do you have a redstone engineering, an extra redstone engineering block? Yeah, it's in it's in one of the crates. It's in okay. the the top crate that's on the shelf. Okay, go ahead. Um, I went to a uh, I went to the, the 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 auto shop, I guess the the tire shop, really, this past weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, not last weekend, the weekend before that, and I did because uh, I basically needed to my my tire needed to be changed, and I'll, I'll admit. <laughs> Real, real, real quick. Tell, tell them the short version of that story. So I was planning to go over to the t to the tire shop to get new tires, but my car decided to go ahead and lose a tire. So, so he had a blowout on the way to the tire store <laughs> to get new tires for the to car. To get new tires, so, so that he wouldn't have a blowout. Yeah. That Irony, huh? Happy. Yeah, that makes me really happy. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> No, it's it's fine. No, it's fine. It's it's true. <laughs> it's, it is a hundred percent true. I uh, it was it was it was hilarious. Uh, but I'll 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 be honest with you. Uh, if I had to, you know, fully replace all my tires, I would probably shoot myself because I do not want to. <laughs> I have no it's... patience, and my body is not good enough to work, to do that work. I, I am, like I said, I am any, hurt, any so. of those jobs so. are, are to me are, oh, those are steel. Um, I will happily pay someone to do it for me. Yeah. And, and it's I mean, not and, just and, laziness. It's yeah. actually helpful because I, I know that the people who work at those, at those places are working locally. They're getting paid locally. And I try to go with the local shops so that I could, you know, support local families yeah. and all that jazz. Obviously, not can't do that all the time, but um, those people they they work hard. They work hard for the money, dude. dude so dude, dude, hard dude. for that money, dude, dude. They work hard for that money, so you better treat them right. That's right, and I do my best to do so. <clears throat> so yeah, like I said, I mean they're. And, and, and here's the funny part. If you go back, now I know you're kind of young to remember this. And I mean, I'm, I mean, I was a kid, but I can sort of remember it. In the 80s, there was a huge boom. Now, ironically, in the 80s, the big boom for vocational schools was for, uh, oh, geez, okay, was for um, tech. That's how you did, you know, tech, like, you know, for any of you guys that may not be old enough, there's a place called like ITT Tech, uh, oh, yeah, ABC the the Tech, for profit um, schools yeah. like that. And those places were booming. But I'm telling you, man, you go, those are, there is no place in the country, nay the world, that I would say, I, okay, okay, let me, let me rephrase that before anybody jumps down my throat. It's, you know, third world village doesn't necessarily need a plumber. They do. They should, but they should, you know. but not necessarily all the time. Yeah, but I'm like I said, I'm saying that when it when it comes down to it, man, I wish I had not necessarily gotten into that per se. Like I'm not like oh you know I sit in bed late at night being like oh if I could just plumb, but um, but yeah, I just to have that in your back pocket. Mm-hmm. For me, I think would be kind of the 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 biggest thing. All I, right, when so I was, I, when I was working at um, at a grocery store. Okay, real quick, I want to interrupt you. Yeah. I'm gonna put the distillery down here because we already so have this because we have that water, and then we can pump it out to the uh, 
distillation tower, the uh, whatever the yeah the solar tower. solar tower up top of the building up top, and then you can put that wherever you want if you want to. You know, it depends on. We may have to put that generator down in this fourth room down here. Yeah, it could do. Could now do. here's the other here's the other quick thing. We can use the cloches and get rid of this farm, and open up this room to other stuff as well. If we're using the cloches, we don't need this big old farm here. So. You're right. Yeah, we probably so. Anyways. Um, yeah, so uh, when I was working at the grocery store uh, before, while I was going to college at the very beginning of college, um, I uh, – oh, man, I made these wrong. Damn it. Oh, well. Wait more. Uh, my One of the, the butchers I was working with, he told me that if you are planning on going to college, it's fantastic. You should go to college if you can. You have a projector? Um, Sorry. Yes, I do. Uh, here you go. How are you? I'm in the main room. Okay. All right. If you can go to college, do it. If you can go to it. college, go for it. But yeah. if you can, pick up another skill that's not from college. And his, his example was watchmaking. Now, he's an older guy. He's like 70. So, obviously, he's maybe a little biased towards that particular kind of, of, uh, of work. But... Um, he said that people will always need these kinds of positions. You, If you have clocks out there, which people do, people will want to ha need have uh, to need a clockmaker or a watchmaker to fix them. You have old timepieces, people want to fix them. If you are a mechanic people will uh, and people have cars, you will <clears throat> want to have... The people will need a mechanic to fix them. Uh, if you... Because because here's houses. here here yeah People here's need the, someone to put to to architect and to build and and do the work of cutting the lumber and and shoring up the things and putting the nails and all that stuff. But I will say this: even a Tesla is going to need a mechanic. Even a Tesla needs a mechanic. You know, even even a Prius needs a mechanic. So even ones that are are you know more green, more futuristic, that job never goes away, ever. Um, yeah. Well, until the robot uprising. At that point, and yes, all jobs and, and most of humanity will go away. But up until then, they'll be good. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, like I said, it's it's. I've seen a lot of people who, not necessarily people who are talking crap about that, like they're not like, oh, you want to be a plumber, yeah, yeah. But I've seen people who, you know dad was a plumber or you know this that and the other thing and they they kind of have this almost like embarrassed feel that they're thinking about going into that i'm like dude do it because man i am so nice to those guys because i don't know how to do any of that they stuff do, they do stuff that i can't do oh I don't, man i i i need to change my sockets if for um my electric sockets okay i can come up i have that. to I have to do uh, I have to replace sockets above my sink with GFCI compliant sockets because I got to do that before I sell the house. Okay, so I can talk you through that, but 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 still the point the point still but stands. But I I don't know the first thing about electrical you know doing that kind of thing aside from uh, don't touch the wires, <laughs> don't cross the streams. I like that all of your electrical knowledge is from quotes from the movie Ghostbusters. Yeah, don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. Because that's gonna hurt. Exactly. When it comes to wiring or fighting poltergeists, it's the same scenario. Yeah, you never know. Write that down. Write that down. You never know when Vigo might come out and say hi, and you don't want it to. to uh, I was like, you, hey, I'm trying to change my wires here. And it's, uh, uh, I know. I you don't want to be putting in a, so a socket, wake up, you know, two hours later in the hospital. And shouting, because I'm the key master, where's the gatekeeper? And it's like, or, or, or laying there and being, why am I all stickies with goo? I mean, you don't want to do that. Why am I all stickies with goo? With the goo. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so God. what the hell were we talking about? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, go on. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Vocations. Yes. Vocations are important too. They're just as important as a as a college degree, and there's no I like I said at the beginning of this. There's no shame. There's no oh, shame in taking a vocation over taking a degree. Yeah. And anybody out there who like is thinking about going into that and has any sort of like, well, it's not shut up, because I'm gonna tell you right now. If if I'm sitting here and my toilet is flooding into my bathtub, <laughs> you know who I'm not calling? Someone with a liberal arts degree. I'm not, not calling, calling an anthropologist person. to fix yes, my toilet. Exactly. If if all of a sudden you know, 
my car breaks down and I need that to be able to get somewhere, uh, I'm not I'm not looking through the yellow pages under theater degrees. Okay, not doing that. So, yeah. what are you building? I had to move some oil, um, so I'm temporarily uh, moving oil from. Oh, did the plan oil go in the wrong one? No, I'm just going to shift this whole thing down. Oh, okay. So you have that room because, back there. So I can actually put it on both sides. Yeah. Because it's otherwise it's bothering me. <clears throat> yeah. I like this real talk stuff. I don't know if the people do. We'll find out when all of a sudden they stop watching. But still, yeah, okay. until then, they're stuck with us. Yeah. But no, like I said, I mean, that that is something. And if you can do that stuff, more power to you. Like that. If you can go to college, go to college, get a degree, have fun. If you can yeah. do a vocation, go to vo do a vocational school, go to trade school, have fun. Yeah. You know, do it. Do I, what I, you I, feel you want to do. Because because here's the funny part. I met plenty of people who got you know a four year degree and are and are, are baristas. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's not like oh yeah, getting a four year degree is even going to guarantee you anything. But the funny part is. A lot of the people I met now, let's say now they have some weird ones. It'll be like, you know, a vocational school for like, I don't know, boat mechanic. If you live in the middle of Arizona, maybe not go for that one. I'm yeah. just going to say maybe that might not be the job for you, you know. But it, it's this case of like, I mean, hell, even if you go to college, if you, if you, you know, get trained in it, there's so many people that, you know, don't work in a shop. They're just like, you know, Jim down the street. Mm -hmm. Jim down the street. He, you know, he'll charge him half price and still make almost all profit. You know, because I'm going to tell you right now. There's experience to think of, too. Well, okay. If you look at it like, say, and I'm using your job because, I mean, I do nothing but YouTube, so I really don't have a whole lot of room to talk. But, but if you look at your job, you know, you have a job, you have a boss, you know, for you to be able to turn this job or, 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 you know, your degree into something where your own boss, you got to pretty much open your own place. And that's, I'm, I'm sure it would not be easy for you to start your own company like that. Right. Right. It would but, I, but I'm telling you right now, you get a small business loan from a bank. Whoops. Uh, you get a small business loan from a bank and uh, you just get yourself a garage. You're a mechanic. Like, yeah, I mean, you got to get a business license and buy the tools and stuff like that. But, but for the most part, you know, it's. I don't think it would be that insane of a leap for somebody to be able to do that. So, not only that, but um, I know of at least one person who has taken a uh, has essentially done something similar to that with. Oh, what do they do? I think they did um, computer repair. Oh yeah, that you that you job. could do. Yeah, that 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 you could do. Because then even if you're like mobile, yeah, you know, a, a computer repair job alone is it's actually it's not. <coughs> you have to, you probably should go to college for that, but you can also learn it all yourself. Basically, just you know how how the different parts work together, and there you go. I, and I will say this, and, and this I is entertain the thought of, of opening up my own computer repair shop. Here's here's the thing, and I and I and I can say this from experience when it comes down to it. In the world today, everything seems very daunting, right? Yeah. But but I I will say this: it is really not. Depending on what you're doing, it's not that insane for people to start their own businesses, which used to be a staple. You know, it used to be that, you know, if if very, you know, you go back to like the 50s and even into the 60s, there were people that just, you know, bought a, a house, converted it into, you know, hotel rooms and turned the house into a hotel and then ran it for 60 years or yeah, whatever. And it became you a know? bed and breakfast. Kind of exactly. You know, yep. why? Well, yeah, even back then it would just been a, a hotel, you know, yeah. but yeah. there were people who, you know, hey, I like cooking you know i'm not talking a chef i just like cooking you know what i'm gonna make a restaurant everybody needs to eat that never stops you know um i for anybody who doesn't know we're actually over on this video so this is the last bit we'll, we'll pick this up next episode but anyways 
I myself, I worked for, most people know I worked for video game stores for 15 years. I managed video game stores like GameStop and Game Crazy and things like that for about a decade and a half and kind of got burned out on it. But the thing was, I was salary, so I worked all the time. And when I wasn't working, I was working. You know, if I was sitting at home eating dinner, watching TV, and one of my employees called, I had to stop what I was doing. And I took care of a customer issue while standing directly in front of Cinderella's castle at Disneyland while my daughter sat on a bench and waited for me. So I just, and I was missing, you know, things at their school. I was missing, you know, I'd come home from work. They would have already been home. Half the time, you know, we'd eat separately. And then, you know, by the time I got settled in, they were going to bed because they had school the next day, right? So I just up and stopped. I had a $1,500 bonus check. I will admit that I had that uh, from when I left my job. Uh, I purposely stayed until I got my yearly bonus, which is about 1500 bucks. And I had a van that I had bought a year prior on Craigslist because I just wanted a conversion van because I felt, you know, the beard wasn't creepy enough. I had to take it to that next level. And uh, I drove it as my vehicle. It was just my car. I took that $1,500, did some slight modifications, did it, you know, either did it all myself or had something like uh, the... The speaker on the outside, I bought it at a store and I made the kid at Best Buy install it up to the stereo I had in my car. And I bought a freezer and I uh, went and bought all the ice cream and I drove an ice cream truck for two years. I had no employees. I had no self employed. Oh, selling ice cream. It was scary because I could have a day where I made six bucks. I could have a day that I made 200 bucks. But I will say this. After doing what I did for 15 years, it was it was really nice to <clears throat> to not have to answer to anybody. But even more, I didn't have anybody answering to me, and that was something that I think was more stressful. Is that every little headache my employees had, I had to deal with, and it was really nice to not have to deal with that. And honestly, that's what parlayed into doing this. Um, you have to be self motivated. You have to, you know. You drive an ice cream truck in Arizona and you, it's 115 degrees on, in the middle of a summer day. It's real easy to stay in home where the air conditioning is. Real simple. <laughs> it is super easy for me to not stream and record. I just have to not get off the couch. It's that simple. <laughs> but, you know, so, <clears throat> you know, that's something else. And like I said, small business loans, banks are itching to give those away. They're low risk because it's not an insane amount of money. You don't need... $200,000 to open a coffee shop. You don't need, you know, half a million dollars to do a mobile computer repair place. You know? I mean, oh, yeah, hell. Swing that with, like, what, 10, 20 grand? Oh, God, to even do that, you don't even have to do that. Yeah, you, you buy you buy a van. You <laughs> I, sell it. I, as long as I can get an office space or somewhere I can put down a, a, pad, a bunch of tools, I can get a little tool kit and a work table. And that's all I need. Oh, and maybe a monitor. And to be honest with you, and some software. You could you could do that in the. Okay, you've been playing PC Simulator. Too yes, much. I have. Yeah. Shut yeah, up. You, you literally just described PC Simulator. On that note, let's wrap this up. Maybe <laughs> we'll talk more about this next time. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. If you're watching my view, make sure you check out Super Channel down below. And while you're there, hit the like and subscribe button. If you're watching this one, do the same thing for me. That'd be super duper, duper awesome. Come and join us on our Patreon servers and our Discord. We want to meet you. No, no, not you. Next to you. Yeah, you. You. We want to meet you. We want to come hang out and chit chat and play on the servers and hang out. And uh, we want to give you guys a fun, safe, cool place to hang out while uh, you help support this these shenanigans that we do. It's technically a small business. We do what we preach. Anyways, and if you guys uh, want to get your very own server, you can do that by heading on over to Host Havoc. If you want to start your own Minecraft public server, uh, small business, see, see, it all comes together. Full circle. Uh, you, you can do that by heading on over to Host Havoc too, because they have amazing prices. You guys will be happy with them. So, until the next episode, we're two random guys babble about how the world works. We want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.